Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we're doing our versus video on KuCoin versus Buybox. Both exchanges are fairly new, especially Buybox. Many of you may not have even heard or signed up for it yet. I am super excited to bring this to you, and I hope you love it. Before I do, though, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button below. Let's get started. So what is KuCoin and what is Buybox? KuCoin launched in September of 2017 and it's an exchange that operates on a crypto to crypto basis, meaning no fiat currencies are supported at all. Pretty much like every other current cryptocurrency exchange out there, meaning they have a referral program, a discount option when you use the coin, and then they even have a top trader bonus promotion. This seems to be a more common thing that we're seeing lately. Now, Buybox, which launched in November of 2017, is an AI-enhanced encrypted digital asset exchange with super similar features to KuCoin, such as a referral system, discounted fees when you use Bix, and they also have a margin trading option, which will be added later. KuCoin does not have this option at all. So what about the coin purpose? First, we have KuCoin shares. So you can use their coin to lower your fees. People that own KuCoin shares can use this to lower their fees up to 50%. Next, we have dividends. So 50% or currently 50% of the KuCoin fees go back to the KuCoin holders. So when volume of the exchange increases, the amount that you will get from your dividends will also increase. You will also get special services with the KuCoin share coin. Next, we have buy box. So companies listing their token on the buy box exchange will pay in BIX for their fee. So tokens can also be used for fees when using the platform, saving you up to 50%. BIX will also be used for their decentralized exchange, which has not released yet. Also, they will have VIP applications, which will also be available to BIX holders. Okay, so now let's go through the exchanges. So like the prototype, first we have KuCoin. You look at their main screen, it shows they have a contest going, the new coins that they have listed. It shows in a very beautiful format, the announcements, the promotions, the volume, all kinds of fun stuff. Buy box looks super similar, but you have kind of like an announcement page, I guess you could say. It shows their the contest that they have, the coins being added, their trading pairs, the Ethereum, Bitcoin, US Tether, and whatever DAI is. I'm not looked at that, I'm not sure. KuCoin, to get that information, you gotta go to markets. You can kind of see they have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Neo, Tether, KuCoin shares, and Bitcoin Cash. So they have a lot more trading pairs. Doesn't always mean it's better. Now they do have some of the coins I like, Blockport, Dragon Chain. You can't find that on Buybox, but you have Gibraltar Network, you have Fusion. They kind of, if one doesn't have it, the other one should have it. If it's not on there, then you're wondering what the heck's going on with this coin. Now if you look at the actual charts, they're super similar. As you can see, this one has the depth right here. KuCoin or Buybox, sorry. Buybox has the depth right here. KuCoin has it down below. I'm not sure which one I like more. This one, I guess, is easier to see right away, but I like the size of this one. Now, something that's huge to me, KuCoin has their order book right here, right? Easy to move around, but that is the max order book I can look at. Look, that's it. That's all. Tiny. I hate that with a passion. While Buybox, you can go buy and look at all these orders you can like at just like binance it goes so far down why is kucoin not like this all the way to point zero 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 whatever one sat sell order all the way to the top this is how it should be what if i want to put a huge sell order in i can't even see what i'm looking at in terms of a price action if it were to jump a significant amount kucoin doesn't have that i hate that Awful idea, KuCoin. Please fix that. Now, KuCoin does have the two-factor two authentication code when you're trying to buy and sell. That's awesome. An extra security measure. I think that's great. Any additional security measure should be implemented on the exchanges to protect your money. Buybox does not have that, but they do have it where if you try to, you have to send, you should set up a funds password. So use for withdrawals and it's available when you set up the Google Authenticator. I have not done that yet, but you have to have the password to withdraw any money. That's great. It should be like that. That way people that get hacked into, as long as that password is different, they shouldn't be able to steal your money. With that being said, I hope none of you get hacked. That would be awful. <laughs> Next we have, they both have the referral program, which I will be adding my referral for both Buybox and KuCoin in the description. I might've said that already. Check it out. If you haven't signed up for either, you can use that. It's there for you. 
they have the KuCoin bonus. Now this is huge for a lot of people. They have the dividend payout. I only have five KuCoin shares or 4.9. It's only $21 worth. And you can see, <laughs> I haven't really received very much dividends. And of course my, my share is small, but a lot of people are complaining that they have a huge amount of KuCoin shares and the payout is not worth it. It could be that the exchange volume isn't very high, but I know that's, it's almost like a positive, but then is the negative outweighing that? I'm not sure. Buy box has, or coming soon will be margin training. They have this C2C, which is customer to customer transaction. So I think this is their decentralized exchange. I'm not sure. I don't really like the look of this. Outside of that, they have the news. News, both of them have it. Super similar exchanges, like I said, but buy box is actually doing great. You can see it has a few extra key features that I like, like the buy and sell. That is huge to me. KuCoin fix that, please. Outside of that, super similar exchanges. You decide what you like best. Both of them have different coins with Fusion, Gibral on buy box. You got Dragon Chain, Blockport on KuCoin. That is the prototype section. <laughs> now let's look at the market cap. We got KuCoin shares. We're looking at 394 million market cap. Their all time high was almost 2 billion at 1.9. We have $4.33 coin price, which is an all time high of $21.14. Significant difference. The coin volume KuCoin shares in the last 24 hours was 875,000 with an all time high of 42 million. And then the exchange volume, which is not to get confused with the coin, is 58 million at a rank of 21. Next, we have Buybox, which has 79 million market cap, or I guess the BIX token, should I say. Their all time high is 429 million, significantly lower than KuCoin shares. We're looking at 75 cents per coin right now. Their all time high was $4.08. Their volume, or BIX's volume in the last 24 hours, was 15 million. And the all time high was 63 million, actually higher than KuCoin shares. And the exchange volume is 101 million right now, ranked 17, almost two times more volume on the exchange than KuCoin. Now for the pros and cons of Buybox and KuCoin. So KuCoin shares first, they have the dividend payout. Although it's super small, it's still better than nothing. You can use the KuCoin shares coin to pay your fees, which cuts the fees in half. Now, many of the new coins being added to KuCoin is from the ICOs and being an ICO investor, this is super nice to see. And it also seems that these coins are much different than Binance and buy box. I love that. It gives us that variety that we're looking for. They have the referral program. Always awesome to see giving people who help increase the awareness of the exchange some rewards. Again, my in my description, the KuCoin referral and buy box referral. Don't forget. <laughs> they have the contest, which I love. You can win some big rewards with Teslas, some huge amounts of coins in those respected contest coins. And then they have the security top notch security with the two factor authentication when you're trading. Now for buy box. First, the Bix token is used just like KuCoin shares where you can reduce the fees on the exchange up to 50%. They're adding many of the ICOs that KuCoin isn't adding, giving us a nice well-rounded option between KuCoin, buy box and Binance. Then companies must use Bix to list their token on the buy box exchange. Tokens are also going to be burned until the circulating supply reaches 200 million. BIX will also be used for fees on the decentralized platform, which will be released sometime in the future. Then VIP applications are only there for BIX token holders. Also, they have almost double the exchange volume of KuCoin, which is definitely significant in my opinion. And it's even a newer exchange and it shows the progress that this company has actually achieved so far. Also, they have the referral program. Again, my description. <laughs> then they have the contests, similar to KuCoin, with some big prizes with cars, huge amounts of tokens. Again, just like KuCoin. As the Bix token, not the exchange, but the token itself has much higher volume than KuCoin shares with 15 million, and KuCoin share has less than 1 million, as we saw earlier. Then the security, again, seems top notch, where you have to have a password to actually release your funds. That's unique. Definitely needed to protect people that actually get hacked. It allows the hacker to have another layer that they have to go through, per hopefully protecting our money. So now let's look at the cons of each project. First, the low dividend payout. I know this is a positive in a way, but being at so low, it kind of gives you that false sense of this coin is awesome. 
Also, there's supposedly rumors that the shareholders will reduce from 50% of the fees to 15% in either March or April. So an already tiny dividend return will be much lower. Granted, again, I don't know if this is actually a negative since it's still better than nothing. <laughs> The one that I can't stand is the limited buy and sell view. I showed you this in the prototype section. It gets super annoying if you're trying to make any significant sell or buy orders that aren't within their little parameters. Their KuCoin shares volume is super low under 1 million. I don't like that. And then the low volume exchange compared to buy box and especially compared to top exchanges such as Binance. Now for buy box, Pretty much all I could find is the low volume compared to the top exchanges, such as Binance. Outside of that, I guess you could say no dividend payout, but I don't really expect that from exchange coins. Check out Binance and all the other exchanges. They don't have that. Cost does, but they're a lame exchange in my opinion. So there we go. That's it. That's my versus video. Buy box versus KuCoin. Let me know who you think won. I personally am starting to lean more towards buy box. Granted, I do love using KuCoin. I just wish they had more volume. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to smash that like button. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button below. And I'll see you next time.